we were so scared that we were not gonna like the brick at all um Good morning everyone and welcome back to today's vlog um it is a few days later we have just took a little bit of a break um just to relax and uh i guess not vlog just um but we are getting a little late start to the day it's already lunch hour so i'm just gonna go ahead and make some lunch um i am just gonna make some sandwiches um just something quick and we do have leftover jalapeno poppers that i'm just gonna throw in with the mix that way we can finish those and have that for lunch as well. Oh, so this is what we'll be having for lunch. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and also throw in just some jalapenos in there just to spice things up a bit. Um, Vin's usually just does mustard, so I'm not gonna do mustard, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in our oven. Um, shout out to my friend Ellie for getting this for my birthday because I literally use it every day. Um, it's the best thing ever. Things that we have planned for the week, I am not entirely sure. I know that we are gonna go look at our house i think on sunday or something just to see if the brick is finally uh laid yeah we're gonna double check to see if it's laid on the house now just so we can finally see what it's gonna look like um but from there we also do have planned that we're gonna go to the uh walnut creek trails again with a couple of friends just so we can take our dogs out and then they can come along with us just because it was a really cool trail but besides that we also do have another zoom like game night thing going on sunday again so there's a lot of stuff happening sunday so actually we may go look at the house saturday that way we have something for saturday to do um today there's really nothing else for us to do um i think i am gonna make some banana bread the bananas are the perfect ripeness or whatever you call it um to make banana bread Alrighty, so these are just the sandwiches i'm just gonna close them up and that's pretty much it for our sandwiches. So that is our lunch with the jalapeno poppers. Um, like I said, we're just doing it pretty simple today. Um, so we are just gonna go ahead and eat lunch quick. Um, Vince is still working today, He's but he's gonna eat. Uh, but besides that, like I said, I don't know what else we're gonna be doing. So I will check in with y'all shortly. So we are taking Bane out for a walk now. It is a few hours later. It's pretty nice out again today. But yeah, uh, we, we are about to be home. So we're gonna go ahead and make uh, dinner and we are also gonna make the banana bread tonight like I mentioned but yeah it's like what was it like 90 degrees out today it was like 90 something degrees out so so we are back from the walk we are gonna go ahead and start making dinner um, like I said we are gonna make the banana bread tonight um, just because the bananas are going is it ripe is that what the word is ripe? bananas are going pretty ripe uh but yeah vince is gonna go ahead and work on the dinner while i work on the banana bread that way we can uh get those things both going at the same time and we'll see y'all in a bit all right so the things that you will need for this banana bread are three ripe bananas pretty ripe two eggs but one whole egg and then one egg yolk baking soda vanilla extract semi-sweet dark chocolate um any type of chocolate that you want butter sugar sour cream, kosher salt, and flour. And I usually just line the tin, this is the tin I'll be using, with some parchment paper. That way it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to take everything out.
it is now in the oven and you just want to set the timer for about an hour at 350. The main thing when you are making it is like when you're checking it, just use the old method of doing a toothpick. And if it comes out clean and it should be good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the end result uh, once we finish up with dinner and that's done cooking. So this is our dinner. Um, basically what we're having is just the, like I mentioned, um, the barbecue chicken with some rice. So this is the final result of the banana bread. Um, I did let it cool for about 45 minutes or so. And it turned out so, so good. It's so soft. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna eat this and uh, probably just watch TV the rest of the night. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day on today's agenda. What are we doing today, babe? Haircuts. So, Vince wants to attempt to do haircuts this weekend. So we will probably try to do that today. I am nervous because I don't trust anybody with my hair besides like someone that actually does well. So yeah, we're gonna try to do that today. Um, hopefully it works out. I mean, no one's gonna see us for the next couple weeks anyways, so it'll just grow out. But I mean, if it works out, then we're saving $50 that we spend, so. But this morning we are just gonna make breakfast quick. Um, we're just probably gonna have a smoothie with the banana bread that we made last night. It came out so, so good, you guys. I am obsessed with the recipe. I'm gonna post I'll probably post a link to the recipe or something. Plus I'm gonna show you what I did with the recipe in the video. So um, yeah, you can see what, or you can see how to make it. For now. Lick, lick. <laughs> so we came out to the house location and we just got a small glimpse of what the house is looking like oh my god you guys we uh we love it so much um it's a little bit lighter than we thought but it still looks so good and then with the once they do uh paint over with like the black accents it's gonna look even better i can't wait let me show y'all oh my god this is gonna look so so nice. This is what the brick looks like. Just imagine the black accents like along everywhere with the shutters. The door is going to be black. Y'all, this is going to look so, so nice. I cannot wait. Okay, so here it is. There's a big ass porta potty here. So here's an up close of it. Um, like you see, it has it does have like the black accents here and there. Um, and yeah, oh my God, it goes all the way around the front entry. Here's our nine foot door, eight foot door. Yo, this is gonna, uh, I am obsessed with the brick. We were so scared that we were not gonna like the brick at all, um, but we chose the right brick and now, uh, I don't know, I'm, we're just so excited that we finally get to see it on the house and it's what we imagined. Um, like I said, it is a little bit lighter, but it's, it still looks good. Like it's gonna look so good once the black accents do go up and then with everything put together. Um, let me show you the side of the house. So the side of the house is just the regular siding that you see on like typical houses. Um, we didn't put the brick around the whole thing um, just cause it got pretty pricey. Um, but yeah, our backyard is back here. I think the back as well is um the siding yeah the back of it is just the siding as well so we are just walking in and they did install all of the insulation around the whole house and they for our stairs like i told y'all it is going to be like an open concept one so it is going to have like the iron um, metal ones instead of like a closed wall on each side um so they took down the uh the planks or whatever that were holding that up we are gonna walk upstairs because the construction manager told us that they were gonna fix the shelf area where there was supposed to be a bench and we're gonna see if they did fix it yes they fixed it it was up here now they put it down here oh that looks so much better this is what we originally wanted a bench near the uh just like to have a window bay and perfect i am so glad that they listened and they were able to accommodate that um, just because it was a pretty easy fix that we were going to want to do later. But 
if they were able to do it, then why not? And here is the master bedroom. Um, they haven't really done much besides the insulation here, but uh, everything is just coming to life now. Okay, so we are back home. Um, so I'll explain a little bit more about the house later, um, just cause we are gonna start the process of cutting our hair. Um, we were gonna have a friend do it, but we just wanna see if we can try to do it ourselves cause social distancing, but yeah, we're gonna try to do it ourselves. Wish us luck. Um, we'll show you, hopefully, maybe if it goes well, we'll see. So I think my hair turned out pretty good. He did a, such a good job, I think. So props to him because now we don't have to go get haircuts. Um, we didn't cut anything off the top because that's a little that's a little daring for now. But but yeah, um, we'll see what uh, we do for the rest of the night. We are just gonna shower quick and eat dinner. Um, I think we're just gonna make some chicken sausage for dinner tonight. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't know what we'll do after, but I'll check in with y'all shortly. So I was in the bathroom cleaning up and talking on the phone with my parents. And I come out to find this. Wow, making us drinks. Yum. So <laughs> with this, usually we've done like an alterna alternative to um, micheladas. We just do like tapatio valentina with the modelo and with ice. And usually we put a lemon. We'll show you that. It's literally like our new summer drink. It tastes so, so good. Alrighty, y'all, and that's basically it. Like I said, we just put the uh, Valentina lime, mixed it, ice, and you could do a dressed rim if you'd like, but then you just add the, your ch or I guess your choice of beer. We just use Modelo. You could do like Corona or something else, but it tastes so, so good. I swear, it's like, like I said, our newest like summer drink. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Here is our dinner for tonight. Um, like I said, we were just doing the chicken sausage. We made some um, Brussels sprouts. Some of the sauce got burnt, not the Brussels sprouts, just to FYI. And then we just did put it over rice. Um, the chicken sausage is from Trader Joe's. Brussels sprouts is from Trader Joe's. Just out here enjoying dinner under the lights. The city view over there. It's so nice out today. But I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Um, like I said, we have nothing else planned for the rest of the night. We're just gonna eat dinner and just chill out here for a little bit. Um, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Um, so I woke up to a little surprise today. Vince is already starting the coffee. Wow, wow, wow. The mood. But I think I am also gonna do the whipped coffee just cause we haven't had that in a while just to also have that with the French press, just cause, I don't know, it makes it taste a little diff different and it's whipped, so why not do that as well? So Vince is just now whipping the coffee. He already pushed down the Frenchy press. And we literally have like no oat milk left, so hopefully it's enough for the both of us. On today's agenda, 
We said we were gonna work out um, this morning, so hopefully we still do that. We also are gonna go on those trails again that we did last week, where we're just gonna go with two of our friends. Um, they're gonna bring their dog. And after that, we're supposed to go grocery shopping because it's Sunday, so we need to. Besides that, that's pretty much it for tonight. Oh, we are also doing another Zoom game night um, with some friends again. Um, another group of friends, uh, totally different. So sh that should be fun again. park again where we brought Bane last week um just to walk the trails again um he is getting super excited I don't know if you guys can hear him in the back but it is another night's nice day so we decided to come back um it is just perfect weather to be out and about right now but I mean keep in mind social distancing <laughs>